up beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi that's all i got right now we don't really have an intro we don't really have much happening yet but we're working on it today is another mask day because why not and honestly this might be the last one because i i'm running out of masks and i was tempted to do like the 100 layer of masks but then i was just like oh, i don't want to so we got a new korean mask I'm not sure if this is the exact brand that everyone's like freaking out about, but magnetic masks were very popular last year. I'm a little late to the train, but I'm here. But it's cool, it's fine. This is the mask. This is Onyx Youth Magnet Mask. Once again, like I said, Korean brand. But we have English on the box. I don't need to translate anything. Huh. I mean, I don't mind practicing. So, Onyx Mask, Magnet Mask, um, so the directions say use the mask twice a week, morning or night, use a spatula, I don't know where the spatula is because this is a, um, a refill box, not the original kit, so I don't know where the spatula is, but I have the wand, so better than nothing. We use a special spray of thin layer to clean face, avoiding eye and lip area. Leave on for five to ten minutes. Wrap the mask. Blah, blah, blah. Wrap magic wand with a tool of magnet head cover. Glide over the entire face, hovering over the skin surface until the mask is completely removed. Massage any remaining product into the skin and maximum benefits. Do not use water to remove. This is what the jar looks like. All nice and sleek. And this is the magnet head cover. Oh, you just slip it on. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Ooh. Ooh. She's thick. Since I don't have the spatula, we're gonna go in with our handy dandy, used to be, um, I think it was supposed to be a makeup brush, but we don't use it as a makeup brush. We use it as a face mask brush. I did have a face mask brush for a little bit don't know where it went so it said thin layer so I definitely do need a mask I'm starting to break out here on my chin and that's about it right now that's fine also um, completely disregard my eyebrows they are starting to get out of control because um, I have not waxed them because I'm going to be filming a video on how to wax your eyebrows while in quarantine or just in general you don't have to be in quarantine wax your eyebrows but in any way that is just a separate video I'm letting grow them out a little more so I can show you okay so it said thin layer um now I understand why it asked for a spatula because this is really thick so while I'm putting this on how is everyone how is quarantine treating you are you having a good time are you slowly losing your mind What's going on in your guys' world? I personally am really enjoying quarantine. Like, I told a couple friends I'm really liking it. Um, mostly due to the fact I can do a lot of stuff. Like, I feel very productive. I feel like if you stick to a normal schedule, it's not that bad. Like, I still wake up around like 7 30 in the morning on weekdays i wake up i still make my bed and everything i work out i go for a walk um i do a few chores i clean up and yeah and then you know go as the day goes and i try start filming and editing roughly around like two o'clock because that's when I typically go to work so I'm trying to stick to like my work schedule I'll maybe do YouTube or I will I've been trying to practice my languages and everything which I will film a video on later um, or I'm in the process of filming it oh yeah I decided I want to learn how to play the ukulele that can be fun so far I'm enjoying it and so I don't know if you just I feel like if you stick to a schedule it helps I've been able to catch up on my reading I'll do that 
chat right before I go to bed. I've been playing, I actually get to play video games now. I have not been able to play any of my video games for probably months and not gonna lie, kind of missed it. I've been ordering some video games like online through the console and might order some more so I can actually play with some friends. And then I had like a Netflix party with friends and that was actually pretty fun so I don't know just finding new things to do you know reading I've been painting I've been writing more so like I don't know just make the most of it like we have a bunch of time now like you literally have all day you can be super productive with that now it says to leave this on for about five to ten minutes while we're doing that so let me quickly look up the price and other things like where you can get it kind of stuff because I honestly I did not buy this myself it was a gift from my mother because um, I was running out of ideas and she's like hey I have some refills of this mask you can take it I don't use it as often and I was like cool I was like sweet I'll take it and um, but knowing my mother She's very bougie when she comes to buying things. So let me see how much all of this actually is. So they do have their own website, onyxyouth.com. You can get one month supply for $80. What? <laughs> what comes with it? Okay, 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 okay. If you get the kit for one month, you get, um, you get one of these, you get one of these, one of these, and this actual spatula so basically all this except for the spatula that i don't have for 80 dollars <laughs> okay all right then i'm just gonna it's fine it's fine it's fine i mean 80 dollars i mean it is magnetic so i'll definitely try to with my own money to buy a cheaper one and see how well it does but um yeah we'll see so I'll see you guys in a few minutes so it's been roughly 10 minutes it's still kind of liquidy and I did add a few more touch-ups areas because I was looking at pictures of people putting on magnetic masks 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 and they did put it around their mouth and a little more so that's what I did, so. It's very weird sensation, like it's a, it's almost like a tingly sensation when you're going over it, but for like, Static -y. It does leave some kind of residue. Because, can you tell that this is darker than this? I'm guessing that's what I was talking about, like when you massage it in. So, it, like, leaves some kind of like thing left over. Now, I wasn't sure if you have to switch out the sleeve, but I think. I'm almost done and it's still like pretty good now I do understand why they said don't go near your eyes or anything for any of the crevices but like it's really hard to get like all the product that's like in the corner of my nose and everything and just like any like general slopes so this is like a mask I think would be really good for like broad areas but like if you want very specific this is not the mask to do it with yeah and it looks like it leaves some kind of kind of like white residue left over but it said to massage any product left over now I'm trying to massage in the residue but it's not going anywhere it's literally just I think I'll have to take a makeup wipe and get the rest off. It's kind of like 
oily, but not. Even though it said to massage it in, it wasn't going anywhere. So I wiped most of it off and then the rest I kind of massaged in and it seems to look a lot better. But I don't know if I did something wrong, but I like it. It was a very fun thing. Like that. The concept was really good. Um, this is my first magnetic mask that I've ever tried, so I don't know what other ones are like, but this one was pretty nice. For $80 though, I would have to keep trying to use it like it said twice a week and see if anything helps, but on a first time basis, I don't think it's worth the money. But I feel like a lot of magnetic masks aren't worth the money. They're like very fun to do and like, you know, have a weird tingling sensation, but like, I don't think they really do much in my humble opinion, but it was fun. And I'll read more about it and see if I did it incorrectly. Cause that, the, that residue was just like way too much. But um, I hope you guys stay happy, healthy, and well during this wonderful quarantine time. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Make good choices, follow your dreams, and um, yeah.